everyone and welcome to another episode of CSI Fatal Conspiracy So we're going to hop into this one um, I was supposed to do the stream last night but um, things didn't work out that way My wife wanted to stream so <laughs> we let the lady stream And then because yesterday I was streaming all day Today I'm going to try and do the same as for the cause, you guys can see the cause. Well, that's actually this side. No, not. Yeah, but you guys know what I mean. So here we go. So it's episode two, planting evidence. Let's see. Hopefully it does it in one go and not end up making three videos like yesterday. I can't wait for my fiber. This this problem will stop as soon as my fiber is installed. So this is going to be the brand new La Ventura Hotel and Casino, huh? Scheduled to open its doors spring of 2009. They sure don't make them like they used to. They sure don't seem to be able to make this one at all. First it was the city council, then the environmentalists. Now it's the Bureau of Sanitation shutting them down on the faulty sewage lines. Nothing's getting done around here until somebody cleans some pipes. Jeez, what hasn't happened to delay this thing? A dead body. Like the Ow. place is cursed. Construction worker over there called it in. I haven't taken a statement yet. Good to see you. Thought I might be flying solo on this one. Okay, time to go to work. Gather the evidence before interrogating the suspect. Well, everyone's a suspect until proven guilty, of course. Okay, shows an error. Can't see anything that looks out of place. Of course, I'll get to the body just now. Just hold on a minute, sugar. Well, there has to be something here. Oh, a weird and wonderful creature has appeared in the top corner. Is that supposed to be sticking out like that? I can't see anything weird. I can't see anything wrong there. I can see something wrong there. There's a helmet. Hardhead could belong to our Vic. But how to get all the way over here? Yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. Am I looking for something in the walls or what? Oh, that's his name. The I know. seeing anything weird mm. 
I'm losing my marbles. My marbles. Ouch. We'll take a closer look at him when we get to the morgue. Where did he come from? Judging by his position, it has to be more than three stories. You can see when a person is limp, according to all the other CSIs I've watched before. Usually when he's limp like this, there's a few broken bones. Broken bones only happen from about three stories or up. Could be wrong though. But let's see. Not much I can do with the body. There's footprints. Someone was here afterwards. Okay, I need molds. We don't need a cast of this. Oh, we need a photo, of course. Partial shoe impression. Looks as though someone approached the body then tried to cover their tracks. Might be that the body was moved even. The fix. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of a flu. Vix ham seems open, as if he was holding something. Wow, this is a tough case because I can't find anything other than. What happened? to be some form of evidence in this hat. A hair, a fiber, a crack, something. Are you kidding me? There's nothing here. The hell? Nothing much I can do with that. Unless I'm missing an angle or something. Can I even go up? I can't go up the stairs? What the hell? Alright. Let's question this guy. We're from the crime lab. May we have your name? Marcus Conchai. I'm the plumbing foreman. Well, I guess I should say I used to be the plumbing foreman on this job. Yeah, that's right. I arrived this morning to pick up my last check. I looked over there and I couldn't believe it. I immediately called 911. Hmm. Why are you picking up your last check? Bureau of Sanitation shut us down because of some faulty sewage pipes, and the construction company's basically holding me responsible. So, yesterday they finally decided to let me go. And like I said, I just came by this morning to pick up the rest of my equipment and my severance check. Do you recognize the victim? No. I mean, I didn't get close enough to the body to look at his face. I couldn't bring myself to walk all the way over there. It was just too horrible. May I take a picture of your shoe? Why do you want to do that? 
to exclude you as a suspect, Mr. Kunchai. Okay, sure. We're done here. Thanks for your help, Mr. Kunchai. We'll be in touch. I kind of hope not, but, you know, good luck with everything. Okay, so... I'm not done here yet. However, I can't see... I think we should spend some more time investigating the crime scene. We should try to figure out how the body ended up on top of that cactus. Okay, but I can't go up, can I? Oh... Most of those windows are boarded shut. Except for the one right above our Vic. Uh, and that one. That one's not boarded up either, but okay. See anything else there? There's something stuck there. But that's the whole thing, I can't go up there. Ah, now I can. I'll have Robin send someone down to pick up the body. So you have to look at it in order to go to it. Makes sense. Silver Sierra is a pretty big building contractor in Las Vegas. Looks like the Zachary Lynch is the company's boss. Office is locked. Nice blood. He was killed before the fall. No, not that one. The collection. Collection. What is that? What is that? Okay, fine. Let's spray it for luminal. A little strange, don't you think? If this turns out to be our victim's blood, why was he bleeding before he took a header off the balcony? There's a shoe. Did anybody know it's just a shoe under the ladder? Or is it a shoe? That's a 220 volt cable, but I don't see any outlets for one of those up here. Plus, the building is under construction, so there's probably no outlets yet anyway. Usually, they finish building the building before they put in power cables. How quaint! Then what is this doing here? Oh yeah, but there's a computer in the office. Office is locked. So pick the fucking lock. Okay, let's see what Doc has to say. Talk to me, Doc. Hey, Doc. Do you have our John Doe's cause of death? Massive internal blunt force trauma. His rib cage is shattered, both lungs are punctured, and his spleen and right kidney are ruptured. He basically bled out internally. That's right. Time of death? Based on lividity and rigor, I'd estimate 10 to 12 hours ago. Which would put his TOD between 9 and 11 p.m. last night. What are the wounds around his neck? Two very distinct ligature marks. The larger ligature mark directly under the chin here goes all the way around the neck and angles upwards at about 65 degrees. The second smaller mark is also all the way around, but practically straight back and parallel. You can clearly make out those two different ligature patterns. They'll be easy to compare to the separate ligatures, if you're able to find them. 
let me get a shot of those. Okay, so basically the one around his neck going up, he was strangled at an upwards angle. The one in his neck parallel to him, the person was the same length as him. So the person strangled at the started strangling at the back while he was standing. Then when he fell to the floor, the person uh, loosened up and continued strangling at the top. That's why it's going at an upward angle. The person never st uh, fell down to his knees. Interesting. This was personal. Make sure you photograph <laughs> each ligature mark. Nothing by his hands. The guy had a lot of sores, so you could see he was working hard at the construction site. All these things on his body. Yeah. Only a construction worker has those. I would know. <laughs> Did our victim commit suicide? Hell no. Well, one ligature mark might certainly suggest a suicide attempt. Two unique ligature marks complicate matters without actually eliminating the possibility that the victim was trying very hard to end his life. Now his internal injuries, which ultimately led to his death, are consistent with a fall from a considerable height. But again, there's no way to determine from my examination whether your victim jumped willingly or had some help. So our John Doe's death under suspicious circumstances means... Means that until presented with evidence to the contrary, I'm forced to label his death a homicide. Hmm. Other person's lucky, I guess. Can I get our victim's fingerprints? Absolutely. Here they are. I'm going to need a sample of our victim's blood for comparison. Got it right here for you. I need to collect our victim's clothes. Already bagged and tagged for you. What is that? Don't suicide notes always sound forged? Or do I just read too many spy novels? This one is conveniently typed and neatly folded for us to find. Is there anything else on it? Wait a minute. People don't type suicide notes. They write them. This is no suicide. <laughs> Every suicide note is a spur of the moment thing you don't really plan for it so you get to that stage where you just grab a pen and paper write the note and then you kill yourself who types a suicide note all right let's see Mm. Okay, this I'll have to compare locations. And the suicide note was found on him, neatly folded. <laughs> what rubbish! Come on. Who has a neatly folded suicide note lying on a corpse of a dead body? Okay, we don't have video or what what evidence. Let's go here. Mark Enzyme, male. Brown eyes, brown hair, height 5'11. So we're looking for. Uh, Oh, the killer's height is you. It's gonna be close to five eleven. Weight one hundred eighty-five pounds. Date of birth seventy-one. He had his contractor's license renewed, and he's at Silver Sierra Construction. Everything's Mark ensign. Well, we've confirmed the identity of our victim. If you. But he is a construction worker, nonetheless, okay. 
I have no medical evidence and computer analysis. We can't find out which printer you printed it from, apparently. Because you can have the what what. Okay, I see my eight balls fixed. Thank God. My eight ball message has been fixed. Cool. Okay, but eight balls only for people that are watching my stream live. So sorry to the people who are not. You can always come and watch my stream live, and then you can play the eight ball game. It's a fun game. Let's try it. Let's see. Welcome. Evac Moonchild, thank you for the follow. Welcome, Evac underscore Moonchild, thank you for following. Oh, the game has been wonderful. Thank you for asking, eh? Trying to find some perps. Okay, I can see a match there. Red, blue, red, green, yellow. Red. There we go. And how's your t day today? Okay, I see the next match is over here. Yellow, blue, yellow. Yellow, blue. Uh, yellow, red. All right, mock up and confirm match. The victim's blood is on the balcony railing. Seems a little odd if he were just by himself and getting ready to jump. Mm, mischief. We can start ruling out suicide then. All right, the next machine. What do we have here? Evidence. Industrial cord. Could this be the murder weapon? Trying to get the sixty. It sure as hell looks like it. The marks are very consistent. Back off. If you press it the first time and it doesn't go through. Look at that. How does that not match? Okay, let's try the other photo. The power cable left the larger of the two ligature marks around the victim's neck. Okay, so it wasn't the other one, it was this one. I thought it would make my... Oh, thank you, Moonchild. Um, can't really afford you right now. As you can see at the top here, um trying to get glasses for my son that's actually the reason I'm streaming well for me and my son but mostly my son because he's blinder than I am <laughs> don't have money to pay you unfortunately but thank you for popping in I do appreciate it and you're not bothering at all No, 
it's definitely not a match. Intriguing. Oh, that is nice, Moonchild. Well, thank you for letting me know. You can join my Discord and send me a couple of examples, eh? I would appreciate. But I'm scrapped for cash, unfortunately. <laughs> What's it strapped? What do they usually say? Strapped for cash. <laughs> okay, this is what we have so far. Yes, of course, send your entire portfolio there. Um, some of my other followers can check you out as well. Maybe they're looking for some custom graphics. I've got a lot of people or friends that actually want to start streaming. So maybe you can help them out, you know? It's a foot in the door. Okay, I can't open the letter. I can't use the letter. I'm not finding any blood or hair or what, 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 what was that? What was that? No fluids here. Nope, definitely not fluids. Uh, fingerprints maybe. Fingerprints? No fingerprints here. What the? Nothing to collect here. Can't be casting, can it? We don't need a cast of this. Good grief. It has to be fingerprints or UV, so let's just keep doing this. No fluids here. Nah, I thought it was fingerprints. There we go. All that trouble for this. Hopefully it's enough to start getting us some answers. A partial, really? Oh. Okay, well... Let's see... Neatly folded clothes. Absolutely full on it. Okay, this is this computer is not gonna help me much, is it? Chemical and DNA. No, I need to go back to the other one. Cause I got fingerprints, fingerprints. Okay, I have to look for. Genetic markers. Thank you. Mm. Okay, let's see if this can find it. Oh, hello?
There we go. Confirm match. Zachary Lynch, 510. 5'10. This might be the guy. He looks Russian, he's got that face. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, currently employed at C is the CEO of Silver Sierra Construction Co. State of Nevada. Why would his fingerprint be on a suicide note? Blue eyes, gray hair. Whoa, the fingerprint on the suicide note belongs to Zachary Lynch. What a boss, huh? He even helps his employees with their suicide notes. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Agent Humpy here has some information he'd like to share with us. It's regarding Mark Ensign's apparent suicide. I don't know where you're at with this investigation right now, but there's no way Mark Ensign killed himself. Why don't you think Ensign killed himself? I think you may be getting a little bit ahead of the evidence, Agent Humpy. Look, I was this close to turning him into a criminal informant. Ensign was about to go out on a limb, so he was pretty scared. Scared enough to take his own life? Absolutely not. What did you hope to learn from Enzyme? Or aren't you authorized to discuss that? Look, off the record, Anson was on the verge of turning state's evidence on allegations of kickbacks and bribes involved in the construction of the La Ventura Casino. He would have been my eyes and ears at the Silver Sierra Construction Company. He'd been working there as Zachary Lynch's right arm for five years. Lynch is the president of the company. And before that, he was Beatriz Salazar's lawyer back in Miami about 10 years ago. But we suspect she's maintained the relationship through Silver Sierra. So Ensign might have been your way to get to Salazar. Well, with your help, I'm hoping he might still be. Good luck. Thank you, Agent Hansbeam. We need a search warrant for Zachary Lynch's office at the Las Ventura construction site. Based on what evidence? Mm, based on the fingerprint on the victim's suicide note. Lynch touched the suicide note? What else has he been up to? Why don't you go check out his office and see what you can turn up? Thank you so much, boss. Alright. So, locations. Let's go find some more incriminating evidence. Swaddle appeared. How nice. Look who's here. Zachary Lynch. You want to talk to him first, or should we check out the office? Nah, let's check the office, get the evidence, and then talk to him, obviously. Wait, 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 wait. Why did I miss this? There are footprints here. It's not even highlighting. Okay, so... Hello, mister. I don't want to talk to you. Why are there things lying on the floor here? So, the... the um oh, hello? What an incident this was. Good grief. No fluids here. What do you mean no fluids here? It's all over the freaking keyboard. And on the side of the computer. Oh, let's just take the whole thing. Recover them. Check out whether this is the computer that generated the suicide note and when it generated that note. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's just take the whole thing, why don't we? <laughs> it seems right. Oh, hello. Look down here is another cord. What am I supposed to find here? No fluids here. Let me guess fingerprints, right? Contractors' fingerprints are usually on work cards in the system. All 
alrighty then. Okay, as far as I know, in the CSIs I've watched before, they usually take the the printer's ink and then they compare the ink printed on the page to the ink on the suicide note. But in this case, these guys are so confident, they're just going to find the actual thing. What the hell? My Xbox is lagging now? Oh, good grief. Okay, why can I come here and there's nothing? I don't know. Wait, wait. What's that in the wall? Okay, no, it's not there. A oh, good grief. Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to be there because there's, I can't see anything there. Okay, I'm guessing I have to zoom in closer to this, but nothing's happening over here. Okay, now I'm definitely missing something. Locations. I'm scared if I go back to the crime lab that this guy's gonna leave, but I have to check it out first. I still haven't found the second strangulation device. should be sufficient. There we go. And confirm match. Zachary Lynch's fingerprint in blood on his computer keyboard. Now that's incriminating. Yeah, the only fact that it's incriminating. Hello Deacon, how are you doing? Medical database. Ah, been there already. Computer analysis. Let's search. So the last document created on this computer was the suicide note, but it was created nearly eight hours after Mark Ensign died. <laughs> So it wasn't planned. Interesting. Okay, let's see whose blood was on the keyboard.
No matches, huh? Okay, so green, green, red, red. Uh, yellow, blue. Yellow, blue. Yellow, red, blue. So this one over here. It is the same blood. Oh shit! He's. Wait a minute. Blood from the keyboard. This off computer. But it matched. Red, blue, red, green, yellow. Yes. Okay, then it's green, green, red, red. Yeah. Then it's... Yellow, blue. Yeah. Red. Yellow. Did I accidentally click? Cancel back or something. Okay, so all three of these belong to the victim. How sad, really? I can get a warrant from Brass. I just want to see something. Nila, niemand lob. It's funny that you can't find anything on a hard hat. No hair, no fiber, no crack. If the hard hat had fallen from that height, wouldn't it have like a dent or indentation, something of the sort? Doesn't make sense. Anyway, guys, I just want to do something quickly. I'll be right back.
Alright, so let's try again. Locations. Milan! Latched idea! Yo, I said I don't know. Yo, I'll go here. Thank you. We don't play anymore from the door, it's gefaarlijk. We're staying in the middle of town and... Anyone can just waltz into my house. I'm still wondering what these are. Maybe it's just to throw me off. I can have a closer look, but there's nothing there. I'm not convinced usually. guys are bothering me, what? Lynch left a fingerprint and blood on the computer used to generate more suicide and it seems like a legitimate warrant. Yeah, I know about that. What's the other thing? Why can't I get to the second note? Balcony above where the blood land is probably the primary crime scene. Process it. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's ask you some more questions. I'm doing. I'm going to need your fingerprints. But I didn't do anything. Your fingerprints will help prove that. All right. Well done. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see. Is that the last piece of evidence I needed? Evidently not. Nova escaped. Oh, boo hoo. Uh, he's too tall. Or he could be the second one. These records aren't exactly up to the minute, but they confirm Marcus Kunchai was employed at La Ventura. doesn't really give me much so let's see if we 
talk to this asshole. Mr. Lynch, we're from the Las Vegas Crime Lab. We have a search warrant for your office. Of course you do, but you're wasting your time. Mark was dealing with a lot of personal issues, and I think you're way out of line here, using his suicide as an excuse to harass me. Why was your fingerprint on inside suicide net? I talked to Mark on the phone last night. He sounded awful. Worse than I'd ever heard him. I told him he needed to take some time off. Clear his head. So we plan to meet this morning to discuss the details of a temporary leave of absence. But when I got here, I found him. And I found his note. And I read it. And then I put it back where I found it. Why didn't you call the police as soon as you found his body? I should have, I know that, but La Ventura has suffered delay after delay, and I just needed to take some time to figure out what I was going to do next. How I was going to explain to my investors that our lead man on the job was dead, that he had taken his own life. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Rubbish. It just doesn't inspire a lot of confidence in my company's ability to finish this very expensive, highly anticipated project. Rubbish. Where did you find after you found the body and raised the net? I went home. I poured myself a drink and waited. I guess I was waiting for a conversation like this, with people like you. So why don't you just print, uh, prevent the inevitable and furnish yourself? We'll need an impression of your shoe. Whatever it takes to get this over with. Well that would explain the muddy footprints because he was there. And explain the blood on your computer keyboard. Blood on my keyboard? It could be Mark's, I guess. You guess? You're not very putting yourself in a good light, are you? The fingerprint on blood, uh... Is that your fingerprint in blood on your computer keyboard? No, it's not mine. Who authorized to use that computer in the office? Both Mark and I are authorized to use the computer. I bought the damn thing, but Mark was here on site all the time, so basically it was his computer. Alright. We're done for now, Mr. Lynch. But don't leave town. Yeah, I wouldn't dream of it. Wait a minute, am I missing something? We don't need a cast of this. No fluids here. Then what am I supposed to do? Nothing to collect here. Nothing to collect here. Fingerprints? If these fingerprints on the balcony railing come back to our victim, it's suggestive of suicide. We can head over to the coroner's office or the lab as soon as you think we're done here. Brass will hold the scene for us just in case we need to come back for something. Suggestive of suicide. I'm pretty sure every CSI feels like this. But what to do next? Okay. Let's go measure the shoe sizes to see. Uh, not this one.
evidence. Why do you always jump down to help? I don't want fucking. Oh my god, really? No. Neither. Okay, why was he lying about finding the suicide note and putting his... He wasn't there. Or he was wearing different boots. Okay, let's see. No matches. Okay, then we have to compare it to something. I wish I could take away that help button and the reset button because it's starting to piss me off. Okay, let's compare it to the Vic. Yep, definitely his. These prints put our victim at the railing. Okay, I'm done with that already. You know the funny thing is I can't even open a note to read it. <laughs> that does kind of suck. So the shoes... And the hard hat doesn't fit in anywhere. Alright, so the dark has nothing to say to me. Okay, but I can't do that because look at this. Oh, not here. The locations. The locations aren't finished yet. I'm missing something. I haven't collected all the evidence. I'm just missing something. Whether it's big, whether it's small, I'm missing something because they need right marks. As soon as you've finished investigating that area, as soon as you have all the evidence given to you. And 
I'm missing something, whether it's big, whether it's tiny. Funny thing is, I'm probably gonna kick myself after finding out what it is or what it's supposed to be. Because my question is still why can I go here? What am I supposed to do here? Even in the second bit, I'm missing evidence. Why? If you ask them what now, they usually deduct points for giving you advice. Let's just do the obvious. We want to race for Zachary Lynch. What do you get in the way of evidence? Mark Enzyme's blood in the railing of the balcony and construction offers Zachary Lynch's fingerprint on the keyboard construction. Photo of Marcus Shuprin. Print in the victim's blood. That'll do it. I'll bring him in. All right. So let's talk. We found your fingerprints in blood on the computer keyboard in your office. So what? I already told you I found Mark and I picked up his suicide note. There was blood everywhere. And then you told us you left the construction site. You didn't mention going back to your office first. Are you serious? Look, I wasn't keeping a record of my every movement, so yes, I went back to the office. And I went to the computer to check on where Mark had left everything. And then, I went home. You're trying to cover up something, aren't you? Did you write the suicide note? How dare you ask me that question? 
No, I didn't write Mark's suicide note. No, I didn't write Mark's suicide note. Evidence says you're lying. Turns out that Mark Ensign's suicide note was printed from your computer after the time of death. Care to explain that? Oh my god. This is not what it looks like. Really? Because it looks like you did a very bad job trying to make a murder look like a suicide. I didn't kill Mark. All I did was frame a guilty man. What's that supposed to mean? Mark killed himself. He jumped off that balcony. I don't think there's any question about that. But just in case there was going to be some question about it, I didn't want you guys snooping around my property for God knows how long looking for a killer. So I planted the suicide note, hoping you guys would just think it was an open and shut case. That is one of the dumbest stories I've ever heard, Mr. Lynch. Not only is it an admission of obstruction, but it doesn't even begin to give you an alibi. Are you sure no one wants to hit Enzyme? No one I can think of off the top of my head. But, you know, Mark was starting to alienate a lot of folks. He was starting to act crazy, manic, impulsive. I mean, the night he died, he must have called up some subcontractor out of the blue and hired him without my approval to completely rip up the lobby and then plant that weird native cactus garden. But who the hell do you call after business hours to plant a damn garden? I don't know, but maybe that guy knows something about what happened to Mark. Wait, you're telling us that that cactus isn't supposed to be there? Maybe we need to take a closer look at that garden. We can sit here and you can continue to harass and try to intimidate me, but seriously, I have nothing more to say to you people. Do you have an alibi? You want to know my alibi? Why don't you just ask Agent Huntby? Oh yeah, I know him. We actually haven't had the pleasure of a formal introduction, but let's just say we have mutual friends, and some of his friends have been tailing me for the last six months. Maybe they'll have some pictures for you. Maybe a recording, video. I understand they like to do that sort of thing. They're kinky like that. Did you strangle Mark and Zach? Absolutely not. I never laid a hand on Mark. We'll be in touch. Look, Agent Huntby, I'm fine with you and the feds piggybacking on our investigation, but when you have information we need, you need to share it with us immediately. I appreciate your position, Jim. I do. I but... don't give a damn what you appreciate. I want to know why we may be wasting our time interrogating a suspect if you already know he has an alibi. I'm trying to tell you it wasn't my call. There are protocols for sharing information. Is the FBI following Lynch? Yes, we are. But I'm not in charge of that particular operation. Where was the FBI last night? Oh, Lynch. Well, according to the field report, Lynch returned home from dinner at 3 a.m. No further movement was observed inside his house until the following morning. Oh, can we read the field report? No. And the truth is, I can't confirm Zachary Lynch's whereabouts at the time of Mark Anson's murder. Why not? This morning, Lynch apparently gave our surveillance team the slip. So are you trying to tell us that you don't trust your men? Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you, Jim. Off the record, that is. On the record, I should tell you to go to hell. And see how. Looks like we can't be sure whether Lynch was at home or not. Maybe it's time we looked at our crime scene a little more closely. That's what I've been trying to do the whole time. Because I need the right marks. So it the game can even hide evidence. You're gonna tell me I'm going to find stuff now that I didn't find before? It's the same. Okay, but I don't get it. So you're telling me I did miss something. Wow. 
What the hell? Let's get this to the lab and find out what kind of plant it is. Okay, please tell me I'm done. I'd like to get all the evidence firsthand. Okay, time to find out because I've got an idea. See, it's still not highlighting it. No, don't give me that open shut case bullshit. Examine all the evidence. I always do that. And I'm overlooking something here as well. Okay, what am I missing? Come on, tell me. What have we learned from our plant you found in the garden crime scene? Had a chance to look it up. What's the smell? I don't give a shit about the plant now. What I'm trying to find out is... There has to be something on the floor or... Maybe I'm missing something else here. And seriously, can't I take a... a I take off that fucking tape that go and going the whole time. Like seriously? Okay dude, I don't know, it's you're not giving me anything, so From the smell of it, I bet I can guess what that is. And if it's some sort of specialty fertilizer, then maybe we can connect it back to a specific manufacturer or distributor. Okay, so it seems like we're looking for shit. Wow, how long has this investigation this been so going I was on? doing a little background on this ash metal gum plant, and I found these articles related to the building of the La Ventura Casino. It seems that an environmental group called Primeval won a temporary injunction against Silver Sierra's construction of La Ventura. It was seeking a supplemental environmental impact report on the ash meadow's habitat, which Primeval claimed was being threatened at the building site. But it looks like an appeals court overturned the injunction. Okay, which means war.
I still don't know how I'm supposed to link these things together, but okay. Ooh, my favorite. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. Definitely. Nope. We got a match. This is a high grade synthetic fertilizer. It's rare enough that brass should be able to contact the manufacturer and get a record of the people to whom they sell and ship their product. Ooh. We should swing by his office. Will do. We need a list of buyers in RXU-1127 in the Las Vegas area. I'm on it. Obrera's lawyers were very cooperative. Unfortunately for us, there was only one buyer who purchased the fertilizer in our area. About six months ago, a nursery called Green Growth Plants. Turns out that nursery is owned by a man by the name of Todd Stewart. Todd Stewart? We can't prove it yet, but we suspect he's connected to a group called Primeval. We think he's a terrorist, an eco-terrorist. Wow, I'm dealing with an eco-terrorist. Todd Stewart, we'd like to ask you a few questions. I'm a little confused. Am I in some kind of trouble here? Your name came up during the course of a homicide investigation. Homicide? Who got killed? Construction foreman over at the La Ventura site. His name is Mark Ensign. Do you know Mark Ensign? No, I don't. Do you know a man named Zachary Lynch? No, sir, I don't. Do you know anyone who works at La Ventura site? Not that I know of. No, I'm sorry. Anyone ever hire you to work on a construction of a new La Ventura hotel and casino? You know, build a garden? Maybe water some plants? No. No one ever has, and I would never accept a job like that, even if it were offered to me. Hmm. Why wouldn't you work at a place like that? Their money no good for you? Do we really need another casino in Las Vegas? Really? For that matter, do we really need another gated housing community or a freeway? When is this gonna stop? Not to get on my soapbox here, but I do consider myself to be a very active environmentalist, and I can't stand to bear witness to what we are doing to literally exterminate our planet. She truly is our Mother Earth, and we owe it to her to do whatever we can to keep her safe. Are you yes, familiar with I Primeval? Yes, I am familiar with them, and I already know what your next question is going to be. Are you a member of Primeval, Mr. Stewart? No, I am not a member, but I will be honest with you. I believe in their cause. I do. This runaway train of so-called progress must be derailed somehow, otherwise this beautiful planet will die. And if protecting our planet sometimes means resorting to guerrilla gardening, so be it. It falls right in line with the traditional practice of civil disobedience. Well, you may not be a member, but it kind of sounds like you might have pledged a few dollars over the years. I often wish I had. And I bet mm -hmm. you wish I had. Because that would mean you could arrest me right now for helping to finance a terrorist group. But the sad truth is, I don't have the courage of my convictions. I'm just a gardener. No, we take an impression of your shoe. Of my shoe? Why? Is there a problem, Mr. Stewart? I got a problem with you playing fast and loose with my rights. But you know what? Let's just get this whole thing over with. Take my whole damn shoe if you like. We're not done yet. Maybe we have a sample of your dinner. <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? We don't even need to draw your blood. Just a swab to the mouth will do. Totally painless. But why? We'd like to be able to exclude you as a potential suspect. You guys really are a piece of work. Whatever, take it. You purchased the fertilizer? You know I did. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Anyone else have access to it? Yes. I have several people who work for me. You have ever set foot in an Aventura property? Haven't we been over this? No, I've never been to the Laventura site. What? 
That doesn't mean anything. You're right. That was a mistake. Apparently the evidence knows something I don't. Alright, let's go back. Thank you. to crack I don't even have a clue who it might be Normally by now I've investigated the area and I've got all the evidence, but it seems like Where's the one that compares the shoe sizes? Isn't it this one? There we go But where's the other shoe? The fuck? Where's the shoe? Put his feet on the table for me to take a photo of his shoe. Thanks for showing us the bottom of your shoe, Todd. We found that the crime scene is a match to Todd Stewart's shoe impression. Ooh, what? Why lie? How interesting. No, I've never been to the Laventor site. Bullshit. We found your shoe. That's your shoe print at Laventura. In the middle of the native garden, right where we found the body of Mark Ensign. I didn't kill anybody. Todd, it's time to come clean. Mark Ensign caught you vandalizing the property. He caught you in the act, didn't he? You struggled, and you killed him. All I did was plant the garden. My mission was to restore the ash metal to its rightful place. It had been smothered by the monstrosity of that building, and I put it right back where it belongs. And that's all I did, I swear. I have no idea what happened to Mark. He was alive when I left him. Well, now it sounds like you knew the victim. Did you know Mark Enzyme? 
It wasn't like we were friends or anything. I approached him, introduced myself, and appealed to his sense of justice for the planet. I asked him if he fully understood the havoc the building of La Ventura was wreaking on the native environment of the Las Vegas Valley, the genocide of the ash metal. That was over six months ago, and he totally blew me off. But then last week, he actually called me. He invited you to tear up his lobby? See, you're trying to perpetuate the big lie. It wasn't his lobby. He was an employee. It had nothing to do with him. He was just a cog in the machine. The machine that is this whole consumer capitalist corporate complex. And somehow, Mark finally got it. It was like he found God. Total conversion. Really? Next, you'll be telling us Mark started writing checks out to Primeval. Look, this operation had nothing to do with Primeval. It was my own initiative. And Mark turned out to be my greatest ally. So, when was the last time you saw Mark alive? I finished setting the garden around 9 p.m. But before I left, another construction worker had shown up. I think he was the plumbing foreman. They started discussing the Bureau of Sanitation halt to construction. And then they started to argue. Kept hearing them mention this guy named Lynch like he was their boss or something. But they were really fighting over some money. Some cash left in a safe. Apparently it was a lot of cash, and the plumbing guy thought he was entitled to it. And I guess Mark didn't think so. Was this plumbing guy's name Marcus Kunchai? Mark kept yelling Marcus this, Marcus that, but I didn't catch the guy's last name. Where's the safe? From their argument, it sounded like he was right up there in their office under a rug. You strangled Mark Enzyme, didn't you? What? No, I've never heard a living soul. So there's a room missing, that's why we couldn't get all the... Mr. Kunchai, we'd like to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. Maybe take a quick look around your office. I do mind, actually. Do you have a search warrant? Well, we can get one if we need to. How could you get one? I haven't done anything wrong. You can't just barge in here on a scavenger hunt. I know my rights. Look, we can do this one of two ways, Mr. Kunchai. Please, spare me. I say we go for the hardest, most pain in the ass, constitutional way for you guys. Okay? How about that? You come back with a warrant, or you don't come back at all. Mr. Kunchai. You come back with a warrant, or you don't come back at all. Nice. Okay, so there seems to be Just a... like Captain Jack searching for the buried treasure. So there's a safe somewhere. We're missing a safe somewhere. I don't think this fiber is from the rug. I wonder whose laptop this is. Well, whatever cash was here is gone now. Looks like it could have been a lot. And now the area. It was under the rug. They were hiding evidence in the first and second areas. Couldn't take the plant before, now we could take the plants. Empty money wrappers.
Hmm. Well, let's get to the evidence, shall we? Two interesting files here. Looks to me like a ledger of bribes created by Ensign and signed off by Zachary Lynch. But it'll be difficult to prove. Wait a second. Marcus Kunchai lied to us. He told us he was there picking up his last check when he found Mark Ensign's body. But according to this payroll file, Kunchai was fired a week ago. Okay, maybe Todd Stewart was telling us the truth. If Kunchai felt entitled to the cash in the secret safe as a kind of severance package or hush money, then maybe he wasn't going to take no for an answer. No, 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 I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Don't, don't do that. While the quoting Viper is still unsuspected of everything, I'm still going to continue finding all the evidence. Fiber is from an industrial use glove. What do you think? Maybe the kind of glove used by a plumber? Okay, the fiber from a glove. So far, I still need the evidence for that. I've wasted all this time looking for... Come on. Okay, those two shoes don't match. Still have nothing to put on the table. Now, we can go to... Get a search warrant. We need a search warrant for Marcus couldn't try his place. What evidence do you have? Oh. Good work. You got your warrant. It's just a laptop from the office. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know I'm taking long. What of it? I'm being thorough. Hello, Marcus. Told you we'd be back with a search warrant. Well, I'm telling you, you're wasting your time. You're? You're telling us that? It's normally in this case that we find all the evidence we're looking for. Nice place you got here. I'm gonna take my time in searching all this. What's this? What's that? <laughs> Wow, you weren't kidding. I'm not finding anything in this dump. Why am I not finding a thing? Oh. 
God. There's like literally nothing here. Is it one of those cases where I'm gonna have to come back a little bit later to check anyway? Huh? Or is he maybe standing in front of the evidence I'm looking for? could definitely be used to strangle somebody. Does it have any kind of distinctive pattern? Wait, wait, wait. Is the only evidence I could find a drain snake? You're kidding. I only had to find that? That's definitely in the middle victim then. The, the, the murder weapon then why is it not showing up there see ya. need a cast of this oh wait collection but I can clearly see something sticking out looks like a fiber nice there we go that's it's what I wanted to, to you? collect just now it looks like the fiber to the love Not that one, the other one. Okay, so this and this. This drain snake left the smaller ligature mark around Mark Ensign's throat. I can see it clearly. the drain snake matches the fiber we found in the safe and they're both from a pair of industrial use gloves yeah so I, I don't know if this is going to be pointless but yeah I can basically do this the fiber on the drain snake matches the fiber we found in the safe and they're both from a pair of industrial use gloves. I just want to make sure that it is confirmed because I've had cases in the past where it doesn't confirm it. Okay, I don't think I need anything here.
And I already did the computer analysis. So. Let's see. Some reasons not finding anything on it. All right. Doc, you have anything else for us? I'm guessing not. Just to be thorough. Based on what evidence? Looks like we may have our killer. You want to tell us what you were doing the night Mark Ensign died? Look, I haven't been entirely straightforward with you guys. I was with Mark the night he died. Recognize your work, Marcus? I didn't do this. When did you say you were fired? I was fired yesterday. Bullshit. Okay. Yes. Technically, I was let go last week. Technically, you're a terrible liar, Marcus. Hold on. Mark never wanted to fire me. Lynch told him he had to. You know, because of all the trouble with the Bureau of Sanitation. I mean, that was totally my bad, but Mark tried to defend me and keep me on the job. Marcus, stop wasting our time here. I'm pretty sure I can figure out what really happened between you and Mark. Mark fires your ass. And maybe you come back to beg him to give you your job back? Or maybe not. But you definitely come back for a little cut of that cash your boss's boss is keeping in that safe. Mark tells you to go to hell, but come hell or high water, you're gonna get that money. Mark put up quite a fight, didn't he? You just weren't strong enough to squeeze the life out of him, so you had to push him over the balcony. Personally, I think you got lucky. Are you crazy? That never happened. I mean, some of it did, but damn, you twisted me all around in my head here. Please, just give me a second. Did you fight about the money in the safe? Yeah, we fought over the money, but I'd actually come back there just to ask for my job back. I mean, I'd even left all my tools and stuff all over the site because I figured Mark would still let me do some side stuff, you know, off the books. But he said no to that too, right? Yeah, he said no. He told me he was done with all the shenanigans of La Ventura and Silver Sierra. He was gonna quit, start over. So I said, Great, let's both take the money and run. How'd you know about the money, Marcus? It was the worst kept secret on the property. Guys used to call it the tip jar. I can't believe you guys were never able to bust Lynch and company. And the way they used to kick back and bribe. Okay, let's stay focused on you right now, Marcus. You admit that you and Mark argued. Then it escalated. No, it didn't escalate. Mark was right. The money in the safe was blood money. I told him I didn't care, but I was just being a little bitch. Then I decided to give up on the whole thing. It was stupid. I left, and Mark was alive when I did. Hmm. Maybe we examine your work gloves. You really think I killed Mark, don't you? Most of the time, Marcus. We just try to let the evidence do our thinking for us. We got the gloves. We're going to need a sample of your DNA too. All right. I get it. Oh. We're going to hold you in custody at least until we process this evidence. Okay, do what you need to do. I swear, I'm innocent. Yes, yeah, sir, we're just doing our jobs. Don't make this hard on us. Okay. Let 
innocent, huh? Could that be denial? What's this? A uh, what? A shed ninja? What the hell is even that? If you're being framed, they're doing a pretty good job at it. What is? What's your mic? Is? Um, the doctor keeps going to break. Can I arrange it? Not yet. Okay, my mother will put the mic over. No, pas amper klaar is, en dan ga ik van skosjes maken en dan ga ik naar net verder streamen, oké? Okay? Oké. Okay. Ja. Kan ik kan ik stoppen? Ja, die stok je en die goed dus moet wel gegooid worden. Maar kan ik hier een stokje aan de brand zetten? Hm? Kan ik hier een stokje aan de brand zetten? Nee, ik ga het hier niet brand Wat is dat? Ik kan het stoppen. Ja, ik kan het breken weg gooien. Ja. What the fuck does that mean? Blood in Marcus's glove matches our victim. Ach, Leiste. Okay, my papa stream. Okay, I'm going to go to my papa to stream. Okay? Epithelials inside the glove are Todd Stewart. That means Todd must have been the last person to wear Marcus's gloves. 
And that's why I like to get all the evidence. To arrest Todd Stewart. What do you get in the way of evidence? Stewart's DNA was found in the glove that handled the murder weapon. I can work with that. So, Mr. Environmentalist. You know, I think I'm just about done talking to you guys. I tried to be as cooperative as I could, but I got a lawyer now. And I'm making bail and walking out of here in about five minutes. No, in five minutes, you're going to be making another call to your lawyer. What are you talking about? You strangled Mark Enzyme, didn't you? I told you, when I left him, he was fighting with that plumber. Why aren't you out looking for him? I didn't do a damn thing to Mark. Bullshit. I told you, when I left him, oh, he was come fighting on, with that plumber. Why aren't you out looking for him? I didn't do a damn thing to Mark. Fuck. I wish I could play this on a computer. We found a unique fiber on one of the weapons used in Mark Enzyme's homicide. It matches the fibers woven into the plumbing foreman's gloves. You know what epithelials are, Todd? They're skin cells. Well, check out the big brain on Todd. The skin cells we found inside the plumbing foreman's work gloves, those are yours. You're wrong. I've never seen those gloves before in my life. You need to retest them, or whatever the hell you guys do with that kind of garbage in the lab. Did you steal the money from safe, Todd? I didn't steal anything. There's proof to contradict that. Oh, the fibers. We recovered another stray fiber. This one from inside the safe. And it also matches the fibers in the work gloves. So what? Oh, give it up, Todd. It's over. Did Mark catch you stealing the money, Todd? Is that why you two fought? Is that why you had to kill him? This is a setup. I'm being framed. Maybe I used someone else's gloves when I was doing the gardening, but I swear, I didn't use those gloves to kill Mark Ensign. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. It is its natural manure. Excuse me? There was $25,000 of cash in that safe. Mark said it was blood money, and he was right. But he didn't understand that I could redeem it that it could be used to further the cause. Mark just refused to hear me. I grabbed the drain snake out of a tool belt that was just lying around up there on the balcony, and I really thought I'd killed him. I don't know what got in my head to try to make it look like Mark had hanged himself. Seemed like a good idea at the time, but Mark woke up, and at that point, what else could I do? The truth is, a sacrifice was necessary for the greater good. Well, you want to know another inconvenient truth, Todd? What? You're under arrest for the murder of Mark Ensign. Well, we got a lot of achievements. That was a weird way to go, but... Go! Okay. So basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to raid on someone's parade again. Guys, thank you for watching CSI. Then I'm going to quickly fix lunch and I'm going to continue streaming a bit later on. So what we're going to do is... Find the Twitch channel to raid quickly. Lose. I'm gonna lose this game. Third report literally burst in a flame. So I another 18 plus phasmophobia streamer. Intended for mature audiences. Like it. Like it. Wow, she's really thinking this through. 
Alright, let's raid on the parade. The books fall. Uh, Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you catch you in the next one. Um, I'll be back soon uh, with American uh, McGee's I'm Alice. Sure we can about. Okay. Cheers. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> All right. I'll probably grab another smudge though.